Resident Evil 7 ended on something of a cliffhanger our dear Ethan had escaped the Baker family, but Zoe and Lucas' fates were left unknown though Zoe's depended on a late game choice. Plus, series veteran Chris Redfield had just arrived on the scene, and that guy doesn't just show up unless there's some sort of large-scale bioorganic weapon shadiness going on. Thankfully, it looks like these questions will be answered in Re7's upcoming Not A Hero and End of Zoe DLCs. Of the two, End of Zoe is the more mysterious in a press release, all Capcom said about it was that it introduces a mysterious outdoorsman named Joe who lives along the bank of the marshes and has a chance encounter with Zoe that sets both their fates in motion. The company released a new trailer that focuses on both Zoe's situation as well as Chris' mission, and the latter looks a fair bit more action-packed than the base game. Take a look but End of Zoe and Not A Hero will be available December 12th. The former is part of the season pass, or can be purchased separately for $14.99 £11.99. Meanwhile, Not A Hero will be free to download for anyone with a copy of the game. In either case, you get to see some loose threads get tied up and some resolution with the game's characters. And if you've managed to hold off all this time, you can choose to pick up Resident Evil 7, Biohazard Gold Edition, which includes the base game, all patches and updates, and all DLC including the aforementioned End of Zoe and Not a Hero. It'll be available for PS4, Xbox One, and PC on December 12th as well.